Hello and welcome. Today we're going to be looking at the MaxFree S2 dual screen extender. We're going to take a quick look at the product and also show you guys how to install it. So we're going to go ahead and open the box up first and take a look at what we have inside. So first we can see here this is going to be our carrying case. We have our carrying strap here in the front. We actually have a pouch so we can put all of our cables and then we're going to take our screen extender out first. It's about a little bit over three and a half pounds, so very portable for the size that it is. Next, we have our cables. So we have a couple different ones. This is gonna be our HDMI to Type-C. This will be one of our Type-C to Type-C. This is our second Type-C to Type-C. This is our USB to Type-C and our second USB to Type-C. And then down here, we're going to have our user and installation guide. We can set these over here. So next, we're going to look at how to install our screens. It's actually quite easy. So we're going to open our left side first. Then we're going to open our right side here. And then in the middle, we have a brace. We'll open this up. Then we'll bring our computer over in the middle. And then we're going to just make sure we open it all the way to fit the size of our screen, make sure it's on the top and the bottom. And then here on the back, we're going to open up our stand, bring this all the way down, and then we should be good. So next we're going to be connecting our screen extenders to our laptop. So if you only have one Type-C port, um, first we're going to use the included Type-C that we have here. The Type-C to Type-C will not only allow your laptop to connect to the screen, but will also provide the power source. So if you have that sort of issue, we'll explain how to do that in a minute. Our side here first. And then if you have to use HDMI, you are going to first connect the HDMI that you're connected to the right port. Otherwise, it actually won't work. So that'll be the very bottom one. And then, in order to give power to the screen, we're going to take the included USB to Type-C and then connect that to our laptop and then connect that here. So next, we're going to look at how to actually set up the displays. But first, we're going to set the screens to the angle that we like. You can actually rotate these quite a lot. Uh, for this video, we're just going to have them set up about like how when we put them on. So now I'm going to show you how we're going to set up our displays. So we're on Windows here, so we're going to pull up our settings. And then here, we're going to make sure we're set to extend desktop to this display. And then we're going to identify. So as you can see, we have one, two, and three individual monitors. So this will allow us to, let's say I have my crypto exchange pulled up on the right. And then I have my news pulled up here in the middle. And then maybe on the left, I'm going to have something like YouTube. So now we're going to make sure that we have our audio source selected to the right one. So depending on where you have your sound coming from, we'll open up our settings here. And then we can choose between our main computer and then our right display and our left display. So if we wanted to adjust the brightness of the video, we can just go to the left. If you want to raise the brightness, obviously, we can just go to the right. If we want to adjust the volume, we'll have to press twice in quick succession like this. And now we can adjust the volume. If we want to open the full settings menu, we'll just press our button down once and we'll display here. This will allow us to change a number of different things like brightness, contrast, the backlight, sharpness, and a, and a few other settings. Okay, so now that we are done, we are of course going to put everything back. So first we can start with taking out all of our cables. I'll show you what to do with those here in just a minute. So once all of our cables are removed, we will first open our screen extender up and remove it from our laptop. I'll put my computer over here first, and then we're going to take our kickstand that we have down here, make sure that's all the way up, back in place. Then we're going to sit it down. We'll put our flap in here and then right screen first. And then the left screen will go on top. And then we will take 
our carrying bag. Put our screen extender back inside and then I like to take my cables and then we can put them inside our front flap here and make sure the Velcro is sealed and be good to go.